Hey there, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to deliver your freebies um, or products, uh, basically any type of printable or digital item that you're trying to deliver to either your readers as like I said, a freebie, subscriber freebie, or even if it's just a freebie for they don't have to subscribe, or if you are selling products like through Etsy or another uh, marketplace or some sort of program and you find that the file size often is too large and won't upload correctly. So I'm gonna show you some really simple ways to simplify that process and make it super easy to keep track of all the things that you have. And also, if you ever make edits to something that you've already distributed out to readers or even a, a paid product, how to, when you do it this way, it's gonna make it super easy for you to go back and, and replace it with the new updated version. So let's hop over to here. So first thing you want to set up a share drive. So I have Gmail. So I use my Google Drive. Um, you might have Dropbox or some other type of cloud storage. So this is stored on the cloud, not on your physical computer. And so I'm going to show you this page. So not this one, but this one. So this is one of my resource pages. And I'm constantly adding new types of uh, phone screensavers. Um, I send these out to my subscribers every week, every Friday, I do a Friday freebie. So I add new things to these and send out the link to them. But I don't actually always come in here to the actual page. I mean, if I'm adding a brand new style, I will come in and add a new image, of course. But so you see this link here is clickable, right? So I'm actually going to open this up to see in the full view here. And so this is kind of what it looks like. So you see all these, the purple are the actual links. And so when you click on these, so like this one here, it's gonna take you to my share drive, not, in other words, I'm not uploading all of these files to my WordPress media library. And there's, um, the main reason that you don't wanna do that is um, all of these files take up space, right? Each individual file thing that you save, every image, every whatever, takes up space on your server. And so by not uploading every single image like this, now, of course, if your featured image or your pinnable image, you'll upload those to your media library. But if you're gonna be giving away a lot of different types of printables for free, that can easily weigh down your site. And so this is a much better way to do that. Plus it's just easier to manage this way. So how do we set this up? So I have a lot of different folders in mine. Um, so these are all my free printables. I have coloring pages, different things. So this is my screensavers. So every new thing that I create, I add here. Because I have so many and they're sort of broken down into different types. So like I have crosses, holiday ones, quotes and sayings, scriptures, whatever. So I create subfolders to, to better organize them, right? So if you go into here, it's gonna be all of the ones that have just crosses, right? So, in this page, so this link for this access the cross wallpaper, this link right here, right? So you're just going to click and hyperlink it just like you were linking it to an affiliate link or another blog or whatever. I am going to come over here to my cross subfolder, right click, and you're going to click get link, not the share, but the get link. And then you're going to make sure this says anyone with link. If it says restricted, uh, change it. Make sure it says anyone with link. And then just hit copy. And then that is what you would paste right in here. Right? And so, again, this is a really great way if you have a lot of different things that you're constantly adding, um, subscriber freebies or just outright freebies, keep them organized on your share drive so that if you ever decide you don't like want to use them anymore or you want to add new stuff, you don't have to go find all the blog posts where you've put them. You simply have to add them to the folder and the link in the actual blog post or resource page is already there, right? Um, I've done this also. Uh, this is my monthly Bible reading plans that go out. One of these goes out every month. And so this links to the worksheets. This links to the screensavers for that month, um, social media graphics, and then some coloring pages, right? And again, all of these links go to a folder on my cloud drive. And so these files, because there's a lot of them, 
are not physically stored on my server, on my website. So you have to go over to the folder to get them. And then when the re reader clicks on it, it's just, they have, you're not gonna see it in my view because I'm the administrator, but when you open up the image or the file, it'll have the little thing at the top right for them to download it to their computer. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do it for um, a lot of different types of freebies that you're giving from your blog, right? All right, so let's talk about, let me close one more of these. Something else. So let's say you have products that you are selling. Uh, maybe you have an Etsy store. Um, I actually sell some of my affiliate products via Gumroad. Um, however, maybe you have a product that you, or even a freebie that, that might be included in like a bundle right? That um, I know some bloggers do bundle roundups and where you kind of get in on it and you submit something and whether it might be a course, but if it's a printable, don't just give them the file and then be done with it, right? When you do it this way, it's going to be more fruitful. But more importantly, if you have multiple files that go along with whatever your thing is, um, this is an easy way to manage them in one place and minimize the file size. So I know Etsy has an upload limit of the file size. Um, several other programs like I use Gumroad, there's Payhead, there's Sendout, different things, right? So instead of uploading each individual file into the Etsy listing or the Gumroad listing, whatever you're using, you'll create a single page just like this, right? Make it nice and pretty, put like your letterhead on it, you know, your logo, um, dress it up like actual stationery for your blog or whatever. Then immediately, if this is a product that they're buying, right, give them a discount to encourage them to come back and shop again, right? Um, so mine just says, enjoy 25% off your next purchase, use this code, right? So this code will work for anything in the shop. Then try to get them on your email list, right? I know there are some um, integrations that enable you, um, like paid plugins and stuff that you can use, it will automatically include the integrations for either ConvertKit or MailerLite. I'm not big on adding extra plugins. I like to do things the old fashioned way. Um, plus too many plugins can weigh down your site. So this is a great way that as soon as they check out, you have the opportunity to, to stay connected with them beyond that transaction. But it's at their choice, right? You're not adding them to a list when they really didn't ask to be added to it. Um, and so they're willingly joining this. So this just says, if you'd like to be notified of new products or sales, right? Who doesn't love a great sale? Then be sure to join my newsletter. And then this, um, I created a single form and I use ConvertKit. You can do it in MailerLite, MailChimp, whatever you're using. Create a form and, you know, give it a title of sales page form or something. So you know that all the signups to that form are coming from your from customer transactions, like you want to be able to track where your um, signups are coming from. So don't use the same form for every place. Um, that's a whole nother lesson, but create a form um, for, for them to sign up to join your newsletter, right? Give it a tag or whatever to say, these are customers that have bought something. And then you'll just, so this block, you see each of these little paragraphs are a separate text block. Individual blocks can be hyperlinked when you save them as a PDF. So on this one, I've hyperlinked, oops, I've hyperlinked it. Well, it's not hyperlinked right now, but so in your email, once you create the form, you have an embed code, you have like a script, you have an HTML code and you have a shareable link. So it's like a regular URL that when clicked on, opens up the form for them to put their name and email. So that shareable URL, you will plop right in here and hit apply. And then this block will now be clickable uh, when they download it to their computer. Okay, so we encourage them to come back and shop again. We've encouraged them to join our newsletter and then we give them the thing, right? So the thing, remember your thing, whatever they bought may have multiple pieces to it. And, and even if it's not, even if it is just one file, maybe that file is super, super large. I've had a few people recently say, this file's too big, Etsy won't let me upload it, whatever. So again, go back and save it to, I'm gonna come over here and show you. So I have my 12, let's say my 12 month Bible reading plan, right? So it's got stuff for every month. That's a lot of files to be at to be given somebody to download at one time, right? 
So this folder, this one, I would simply get this link and I would hyperlink it to this text block. So they click this link, they now have access to come in and download everything in this folder at their leisure. If it's a single product and if it's not a folder full of stuff, if it's just a product like this is a PDF that's really large, then you would just grab the link. Again, make it any one with link, copy it, and then that's what you would link right here. Right? And so, of course, if they print this out, it's not clickable, but when they open it up on their computer, then they're able to access it. Even if they you know, lose the email, chances are they'll save this PDF to their computer somewhere. And so they can easily come back and get it to access it again. So these are, again, the, the first thing was to minimize your file size, right? If, you're fi if you just have way too many files or, or your product encompasses many files and or it's a single file that's just super, super large, then this is a better way to deliver it. So when you go into Etsy and you upload the thing that the customer will get when they pay, they're gonna get this page, that's it. And then everything they need to access is on this page. But beyond just giving them the goods in a simplifying manner, this is a more fruitful way to do it because one, you're, you're able to encourage them to come back, give them a, and when I say give them something generous, don't give them like 10% off your next purchase, like be generous, 25, 50%, whatever. The goal is to get them to come back. And we all know the bigger the discount, the more people are willing to come back and shop, right? <laughs> then you get them on your email list. But of course, if you do get them on your email list, make sure that you're actually sending out sale notices um, to your subscribers right? Um, let them know when you've launched a new product or added a new product to your shop or whatever. You can put a simple little section in your email that's like a permanent section um, to let readers know about your shop, right? And then the third thing, which is like the final thing, is to give them what they came for, right? And then you could do a little signature sign off, like I could say thanks so much or blessings, Leanne, right? Whatever. Again, make it kind of like a stationary with your blogs, you know, make a pretty logo, make a pretty head or whatever, um, but this is just a more fruitful way for you to, to keep connected beyond the actual transaction. So, so two things. Um, one, anything that you're uploading that are files to your, to like freebies and things like that, um, save everything to a cloud drive and then link to the cloud drive from your actual post or, or resource page. And then two, when you're delivering products, via your uh, Etsy or whatever way you're selling your products, even if it's direct selling from your blog, give them the actual single download PDF that has the links for them to um, join your email list, download the file again from your share drive, um, but also give them an encouragement to come back and shop some more. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you all later.